Fast and Furious 11 is set to be the final entry in this long-running franchise, and Vin Diesel seems to be hinting towards a long-awaited character return that already has me split on the decision. While very few details about Fast 11 have been released, the film will be a direct sequel to the previous installment, which saw Dom and his friends fight against newcomer villain Dante Reyes, the son of Fast 5's Hernan Reyes. It's a grand tale of revenge and justice, which should all come to a head in the next film. Throughout the most recent Fast and Furious movies, the franchise has been making a habit of bringing back old characters that were long considered gone forever. First, it was Han Lu in F9, whose death in Tokyo Drift was retconned after 15 years, and then it was Giselle Yasher, who was also brought back from certain death at the end of Fast X. There are also rumors of Devin Aoki Suki from Too Fast making a comeback. While these have all been controversial decisions, it now seems likely that they're building towards a major reunion for the final installment. Vin Diesel's Fast and Furious 11 tease is another tease of Brian's return. The actor paid tribute to his friend Paul Walker. Vin Diesel recently took to Instagram to write a tribute for his old friend Paul Walker, who played Brian O'Connor in the first half of the Fast and Furious franchise. The character was written out of the story in Furious 7 after Walker's tragic death in a car accident. However, in Vin Diesel's post, he writes, I will have to brace myself for this next film. While this could simply be recognition of their once-shared project coming to an end, this has me convinced that Brian will be back. Vin Diesel's post is a clear tease of Brian's return, which is something that many fans have been speculating for a long time. Brian has been the face of this franchise from the very beginning, and while Toretto is clearly the protagonist now, I don't think it would feel right to wrap this story up without O'Connor playing a tangible role. The character still lives on in the Fast and Furious universe despite his absence, and the franchise hasn't been afraid to use CGI to replicate his likeness in the past. Fast and Furious has been setting up Brian's return for years. The character has a lingering presence in franchise. This tease doesn't come as too much of a surprise, however, as hints towards Brian's return have been littered throughout the past few Fast and Furious movies, whether it's Toretto naming his child after his old friend, the multiple conversations that have taken place about where the character is now, or the appearance of his car at the end of F9. The latter is certainly the strongest argument for Brian's return, as it proves that he's still around and in contact with his friends. Even following Walker's untimely death, Fast and Furious has never shied away from the fact that Brian was the protagonist of this franchise. Despite his physical absence, he's been present in every sequel since Furious 7 in spirit, through emotional conversations or subtle Easter eggs that prove he's still around. To bring the franchise to a close without paying off these references would be a missed opportunity that leaves the most important character's storyline unresolved. Brian's return in Fast and Furious 11 is a necessary risk. Bringing Brian back could be controversial. Vin Diesel smiling as Dominic Toretto in Fast X juxtaposed with Paul Walker speaking as Brian O'Connor in Fast and Furious 6 custom image by Ryan Northrup. Understandably, bringing Brian back in Fast and Furious 11 would be a huge risk. The use of CGI to replicate Walker's face would be hugely controversial, but it's certainly not unprecedented. Not only has Fast and Furious done it before at the end of Furious 7, but it's become a Hollywood trend that's happening more and more frequently. Star Wars has become a major proponent of this, using CGI to resurrect late actors Peter Cushing and Carrie Fisher, and Alien, Romulus brought Ian Holm back with the same technology.